Hi everyone, it's meteorologist Joe Chaffee. We have a major hurricane in the eastern, east central Caribbean Sea in Hurricane Matthew, and you can see it here on the water vapor loop. Uh, it has really uh, become a rather impressive system. The thing that impresses me about it is the fact that when you look at some of the upper level conditions, they're not all completely ideal. The system is experiencing 20 knots of wind shear, which normally would be uh, somewhat problematic, but there are other things going on that uh, obviously are compensating for that uh, one negative that is causing the system to continue to strengthen fairly rapidly. It is now a Category 3 hurricane. Top winds are 115 miles an hour. You notice it has um, taken on that symmetrical look. You've got this huge inflow of moisture uh, coming into this uh, from uh, the deep tropics, and it is just getting all wrapped up as it moves actually on a course now west southwest uh, as it uh, is responding to the strong ridge that exists uh, out in the Atlantic and to its north and you can actually see a uh, part of that uh, in the form of all the the uh, drier air that that is uh, right back up to the north well to the northeast and you know you got this little pocket of dry air that's sitting uh, just to, to the south of Jamaica that's continuing to shrink. So this thing just basically is living in its own deep tropical environment and taking it wherever it goes. You can also see some of this dry air. This is the trough from the upper low uh, that is in the uh, Midwest that extends toward the East Coast. And that's creating that weakness. It's right in here that eventually we're going to see uh, Matthew turn into. Uh, the models take it. Uh, I have it drawn maybe a little bit fur further west, but um, it, it does take it over the island of Jamaica and then uh, over eastern Cuba before it emerges into the Bahamas. Now, we're going to uh, take a look at the visible loop, and you can see, by the way, on the close-up, probably we could see it better. During the night, right there, just on a couple of frames, uh, an eye appeared and then it disappeared again. So. It, it may have paused in its strengthening for a couple of hours, and now uh, it has resumed the rapid strengthening. Uh, the pressures have fall fr fallen from uh, 984 millibars down to 969 millibars, so it seemed to be uh, intensifying at the rate of about 1 to 2 millibars an hour. So uh, we're probably going to see some fluctuations in strength from here on, from, from here on with uh, some stretches where it does intensify and then uh, some stretches where it levels off and fills a little bit, that's that's normal. Uh, I would expect to see an eye to form, a visible eye to form soon as uh, it moves along again on a west-southwest uh, track. And when uh, we take a look at the, um, I want to switch over to the eastern satellite because I want to show you, here's that upper low that's uh, sitting uh, in the Midwest. Now, it's, it's further west than... Um, what we would like here in the eastern states with regards to the rain that we've been hoping for, uh, a lot of the bands of rain have been going uh, further west of the coastline. And this is the area, particularly in northern New Jersey, Long Island, uh, back uh, across uh, Connecticut, and through much of, sun, uh, much of New England, in fact, that are experiencing drought to severe drought conditions. So we keep uh, hoping that we get some waves of rain. Weather models are indi indicative of that. But with respect to Matthew, this trough extends all the way down uh, into the Gulf. And this is that, like, as, I, as I said, it is creating the weakness. It is not going to necessarily be the system that pulls it that out to the northeast uh, where, and, or brings it up uh, closer to the coast. That's going to depend on a system that's uh, going to be coming into the Pacific Northwest uh, in, in a few days and how that behaves as uh, it moves eastward. And also... When this upper low pulls out to the northeast, it may leave a trough behind, and, and that's going to be uh, important because if it leaves a trough behind uh, in the northeast like this, and then you have the western trough that sets up this way, uh, this uh, storm, uh, Matthew, particularly if it's intense, will respond to winds that are in the higher layers of the atmosphere and have a tendency to shoot out to the north and then to the northeast. So what this upper low ultimately does is going to be very important uh, to the outcome. And also we have to see the timing with regards to this next trough that's going to be coming in to the west. I probably have it drawn a little bit too far south, but um, this is one of these things we'll be looking for to see how far south does the trough extend. Because 
uh, the further south it extends, the greater influence it would have on any tropical system that moves into the Bahamas. Now, uh, the Hurricane Center um, official forecast uh, from the last, the, the new advisory, keeps it at a major hurricane, takes it on a west-southwest to westerly course, and then gradually during Saturday night and Sunday, it begins that north-northwest turn, uh, takes it, uh, their forecast takes it over extreme eastern Jamaica and then over eastern Cuba, probably weakens a little bit because of the interaction to land, and then uh, straight north from there through the Bahamas, where we might see strengthening resume depending on uh, how much the land impact uh, does, whatever the land impact does to the circulation. We'll be looking at the GFS model this afternoon and posting about it along with the European. And of course, we'll take care of all the local weather that we have uh, on uh, meteorologistjoechoppy.com, ssstormchasers.com. There's been um, considerable rain and flooding in parts of South Central and Southeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, so you might want to check their um, website and Facebook page, SS Storm Chasing uh, on Facebook, ssstormchasers.com on, uh, on the web. And of course, uh, don't forget, we also have weatherlongisland.com and we'll be also launching nycweathernow.com for New York City weather over the weekend.